during the early stages of the build, my son was everywhere with me. I would be wearing my baby Bjorn and he'd be helping me sand some of our cabinets. Or um, there's a great photo of my wife um, doing some caulking on the interior and she's wearing him as well. He, from day one, was involved in the construction and has, has just been around all of that. So it was a little bit er, uh, easier earlier on because he'd, he'd nap most of the time that we were working. For the most part, it was just as long as you were wearing him and he could see what you were doing, he was just excited to, to watch and learn the build process. And you see a lot of that, uh, that early development in his ability to, uh, to thrive in the tiny house. I mean, we get a lot of comments online because we do have a few ladders, um, but he's grown up from day one learning how to use these ladders, whether we wanted him or not. And we do have a small little three-step ladder to, to get into his sleeping loft. And um, so for us, it's just been about teaching him from day one, like showing him where his hands go and helping support him so that he can learn how to climb. He can't do it on his own, but he's he's so close to being able to do it by himself. <laughs> just watching him learn and grow so at such a young age is, is just amazing. Hey there, are you enjoying this conversation as much as I am? You can see the entire interview ad-free on Patreon along with more great tiny home content. And that's not all. Subscribing as a patron, even at the basic level, makes you an official FAC member and gets you access to benefits not enjoyed by the general public. Check out our Patreon page here for more details.